Hey, Real Life, what's up? Happy Thursday morning. Hope you're having a great day so far. For some of you just rolled out of bed, thank you for watching this right now. Um, if you were Real Life last night, you know we started week two of our series called Help for the Hustle, where we're talking about some of the fundamental foundational things of our faith and how we can grow in Christ by filtering everything through these core principles. This week, we're talking about meditating on scripture. We talked about it in tribes last night. By the way, how great are, is it to have tribes back? And we're talking about it over the next few days during our daily Devo as well. What we're going to do during this section of our daily Devos is every day, myself and the other leaders, we're going to read a scripture with you in this video. And then we're going to give you some practical steps that you can take after the video is over all day long to actually meditate on these scriptures let it get inside of you because meditating on scripture is different than just reading scripture you read scripture to kind of check it off your checklist and move on Medi meditating on scripture is letting it kind of soak into your bones like get it into your heart let it become part of you so we want to help you with that so here's what we're going to do we're going to read matthew chapter 11 verses 25 and 30 together okay i know it's a couple different verses so what I want you to do is pause this video and pull it up, okay? So pull it up on an actual Bible, pull it up on your phone or iPad on the Bible app, or if you don't have any of that stuff and you're watching on a computer, just slide the YouTube window over and open a new browser and just Google it, Matthew chapter 11, 25 through 30. I'm reading from the NLT version, but I'm gonna give you a second. Go ahead and pause this video right now if you need to go get your Bible or look it up, okay? Okay, let's dive into it. Matthew chapter 11, verse 25 through 30. Here's what it says. At that time, Jesus prayed this prayer. O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, thank you for hiding these things from those who think themselves wise and clever and for revealing them to the childlike. Yes, Father, it pleased you to do it this way. My Father has entrusted everything to me. No one truly knows the Son except the Father. And no one truly knows the Father except the Son, and those whom the Son chooses to reveal Him. Then Jesus said, Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, let me teach you, because I'm humble and gentle at heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy to bear, and the burden I give you is light. So here's what I want you to do now. Now that you've heard me read it, there are three action steps that I want you to do next. The next part is read it again. After this video is over, read the whole thing again. And this time I want you to reflect. Reflect on what the verse is saying. Allow God to speak to you. Be quiet, quiet yourself. Center yourself on just that scripture. Put extreme focus on what that scripture is saying. If something pops out at you, underline it, circle it, highlight it, okay? It may be the Holy Spirit nudging you and saying, focus in on this. This is our reflection time. After you've read it again, here's what I want you to do. Step three is to, yeah, read it again, okay? Read it one more time. This is our response time. As you're reading it this time, take a journal or a notes app or something like that and start writing down or typing out everything that you feel like God is speaking to you, any thoughts that you have as you're reading it. Maybe you've got questions. What does this mean? How, how does this apply to my life? What is this trying to say to me? Maybe God is revealing something to you. Maybe as you're reading, you're like, wow, that that's a really good point. I never thought about that before. Start journaling. Write down things that get revealed to you during this time of response. And the last thing that you I want you to do is to rest, which means, yeah, you guessed it. Read it one more time. This time after you've read it, spend five minutes just in silence. Five minutes, just you and God, just to sit quietly and allow God to work in your life. Allow God to kind of rest your mind and let that really soak into your spirit. If you find yourself getting distracted, if you get a text message or if somebody knocks on your door or if somebody starts to bug you, just say, give me five minutes and then recenter yourself, refocus your attention on what God wants to speak to you. This is how we meditate on scripture. And if you don't have time to do all of those steps right now, then spread it out throughout your day. Come back at you know, lunch or on your way back home from school or during study hall and do one of these. Later tonight, this afternoon, after dinner, do step three. Before you go to bed, do step four. However you can do it, 
make time today to follow through with these three remaining steps. This is how we reflect on scripture. Okay. God bless you guys. Let me pray real quick and then you guys can get on with your day. God, thank you for every student. God, I pray that this scripture sink its teeth into us. Just help us to meditate. Teach us how to slow down, focus on what you're saying to us and let it just kind of soak into our bones, God. Help, help us remember how to hide the word in our hearts. We thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. See you guys tomorrow for the new Daily Devo. Bye.